happy peeps, Susanna here for Ellie Studio, and I'm sharing with you this large print photo layout using the Ellie Studio January kit and add-ons that were released yesterday. So this is my first January layout that I'm sharing with you. This is a black and white photo of my husband and I at one of the many, many, many love um, signs that are scattered throughout Virginia. The um, Virginia is for lovers is the state slogan, and so therefore there are many of these um, signs scattered throughout the state. I converted the picture to black and white because I want to convey the emotion of the photo more than um, the colors. And uh, so what I've done is I've created, I am creating a header with the XOXO paper stack. Um, this paper stack is super, super, super bright, as are all of the colors in the kit, um, but I am working with a very limited color palette. Uh, I tend to not like to work with a ton of colors. You can see that through all of my LE Studio work, um, but I am going to share on the 13th, so come back in a few days, a layout where I use all 12 designs that are in this paper stack. So I have a header behind the top of the photo there, and now I want a footer. I am one of these people, it's just one of my design principles, it's one of my design things, that um, if I have all of that weight at the top of the photo, I definitely need something, uh, sorry, the top of the layout, that I definitely need something at the bottom to balance that. Um, and I also like to have footers because I feel like otherwise everything is going to fall off the page. And while I know that is not the case, um, just from a visual design perspective, that is the way my brain operates and the way that um, I like to have things. So I'm going to paper piece this piece of uh, aqua paper from the XOXO paper stack and I am going to call this aqua. You may not agree with me. Uh, funny story I watched. Well, it's not a story really. I read a blog post um, where a lady pulled all sorts of different um, articles, journals, pictures, uh, trying to describe and define aqua, teal, and turquoise. And yes, turquoise is more blue, and teal is more blue, and aqua, no, I'm sorry, yes, is more green, um, but really it's up to personal definition. There is no set, you know, like yellow is yellow, but for many people, aqua, um, tends to be a very differently de defined color. So we're just going to go with aqua and that's what I'm calling this. <laughs> um, so these are the printables. I have recolored some of them. I have left others. Um, and if you aren't sure how to recolor your LA Studio printables, I do have a video uh, describing how to do that. I believe it's also in one of the LA Studio blog posts, um, but you can definitely find that video in my library, my YouTube library. Of videos and if I can I will try and link the link you to that down below um, so that gray card um, and that one that says best day I'm pretty sure are the originals the remember this on the left hand side that's already on the page is the original the one that I am cutting now that's split colors um, I recolored so my intent with these cards is I am, originally I was just going to put the cards um, and try and have them be different heights um, and just have them scattered at the bottom, but see how that becomes very, very boxy. So I decide that I am going to banner them. Um, and I really love the way that the feeling of the banners, like to me, banners are celebratory, right? Um, and so I really like the way that the banners add to the emotion that I'm trying to convey in the photo there. Um, so, uh, funnily enough, this photo was taken almost exactly a year ago. It was the end of January of last year, and we had gotten away for the first time in a very long time for um, a, a weekend, just a couple's weekend, just the two of us, or I shouldn't say couple's couple weekend, just the two of us, um, uh, because Nicholas is now old enough to take care of Mia and himself. Um, we had trusted him long enough with to have had his driver's license long enough. So as I'm trying to put things there, my photo keeps shifting. So I'm getting tired of that and I'm just going to go ahead and anchor that down. I'm using double-sided adhesive tape uh, from ThermoWeb and I'm not going to put that bottom piece all the way down the bottom so that if I want to slide things underneath the photo, I can do that um, and not meet the tape. So I am trying to alternate and have a variety of color as well as a variety of weight 
and a variety of um, height of the banners as I move across the page here. You can see there's an awful lot of aqua and gray and I want to incorporate a little bit more white and a little bit more black into the layout there. Um, so I will do that by pulling out another piece of pattern paper from the paper stack there. These acetates um, are new this month. Um, there is the whole rainbow of colors of those acetate hearts. Um, you get both the hearts as well as the circles with the hearts removed. Uh, that XOXO is my own created digital cut file. So in the stamps this year, it, or sorry, in the stamps this month, um, there is a really cool XOXO, and I was really hoping that we would be able to get that as a um, digital cut file, but they can't provide it, um, and so I created my own. I just used a font from my font library, um, and uh, off the top of my head, I don't have that available to me, but if I can find it, I will also put that in the description box down below. Um, and so now what I'm doing is bannering up a few more of those three by four cards. They're the digital principles, and um, just trying to find an assortment of color balance moving across the page there. Um, my original intent of those XOXO digital cut files was that I wanted them to go all the way across the photo there, um, but because of the placement of some of the elements like that heart there, um, a lot of that gets covered up and I didn't want that, so I will change my mind with regards to that. The XOXO is also cut on um, a coordination shimmery cardstock. I forget the exact name of it, um, but it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Uh, and again, just to add a little bit of, di not dimension, but a little bit of um, something a little bit more eye-catching to the layout. Not that the layout isn't eye-catching, but you've got a lot of that neutral black and white um, and then a lot of the aqua. And so to add that shimmer to the aqua just gives it a different tone um, and kind of perks perks up the layout a little bit. So I have strips that are going to balance out that footer down there um, and they're just from the word pattern paper and um, that's going to go all the way across. I really like this black uh, chipboard sticker from the Love You Chipboard Stickers. Um, the other bits and pieces, so the acetate hearts that are come in a rainbow of colors. I'm going to just use the aqua ones again because I am focusing on a limited color palette unlike the rest of this kit. Um, so this is where I'm just going to join these and I'm not worried about the fact that the words don't connect because I'm going to overlap them. I apologize for um, not being able to see a good chunk of what I'm doing here, um, but I will absolutely talk you through it. You can see enough of it, but what happened is, is I'm filming um, using a new setup and so my recorded space is not as big as my workspace and I usually use my trimmer as my guide as to where I can work um, but and you can see my trimmer is off so everything has kind of shifted a little bit. So I'm anchoring down the banners um, and now I want to sprinkle these XOs XOs um, to create the visual triangle through my layout. So there's going to be that top left cluster, the middle right cluster, and then the bottom we'll call it center, although it's slightly off to the left cluster, um, that just moves your eye across the page and creates some fun dimension. So I'm going to journal in that card on the left hand side there, and I want a little bit more embellishment on the right hand side. So I've got um, that label there, and I'm just going to stick it there, which looks funny when it's empty, um, but I'm going to fill it um, and just scatter throughout the layout different words. Um, and I'm going to use my liquid adhesive to get these XOXOs down because it's a fairly heavy cardstock. I'm going to use my mini attacher to attach the acetate hearts. Uh, you can use adhesive as well, um, but I like, in this particular instance, I really like the staples. Um, so I, you can see I did one underneath the XOXO. I toyed with the idea of doing one on the right, but I don't actually do that. Um, let's see, what else? So I've got a sticker from the 
That is the, it says the best, and that is actually from the kit itself. And now I am pulling out these amazing Puppy Heart stickers. I love the colors as well as the True Love stickers and those chipboard stickers there. So I'm trying to get a little bit more color, but I'm definitely trying to get a little bit more black in there. Um, that particular piece there says you and me equals love, which is fitting for the title. There's some really great words here, um, but they're too big for what I want um, in the layout, um, really as well as what's left of the open spaces that are here. So I'm going to use a fair number of these stickers from the True Love stickers, but I'm going to trim a lot of them down. There's an awful lot of white space around them, um, and so you could, I'm just going to thin that out a little bit, so to speak. Um, so that says uh, those are just hearts that are on that left-hand side. This particular set of words here that I'm fussing around with, I'm going to put away, I believe, um, and I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of the uh, puffy puffy hearts. What I love about these puffy hearts is if when you look at them up close, there's different um, texture, not textures, different prints within the color on some of them. Um, so I'm going to scatter black and aqua throughout the layout. Um, this is a longer phrase that I have here that says you're my number one, and I'm just going to put that down the bottom as well. I thought that this circular heart would be fun, um, but it brings in, it introduces a different shape to the layout, um, and that was going to be it by itself, so I got rid of that. This is a longer phrase. It says, love spending time with you, and so I'm going to cut that down so that it's just individual words, and I'm going to put that on that right hand banner there. So in my description box down below, there are some affiliate links if you don't subscribe and haven't done your shopping yet. Again, as I referenced earlier, I'm going to do a layout using all 12 designs of the pattern paper, um, and there's some hand stitching on that actually, and that's going to premiere on the 13th, so be sure to come back and check that out, and you will see all of the amazing colors, um, and if you have not already shopped, I definitely recommend picking up the paper stack because it is amazing. And those puffy hearts that are right there, you absolutely have to have those. And the acetate hearts, you have to have those as well. I would say those are probably my top three um, in the kit, this or the add-ons this month. So this is another one of the pieces of paper. Um, it's got phrases scattered throughout it. I'm just going to banner it and add that to the top up there. Um, and it just says, love you. I'm going to actually pop that up for a little bit of dimension. And then that is, I believe, going to wrap up the layout. I'm going to uh, run that journal card on the left-hand side through my typewriter and do my journaling there. And like I said, that's going to wrap it up. So thanks for stopping in today, my friends. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this. Oh, also one other thing I wanted to share with you is tomorrow. So on the 12th, um, I am participating in a fun, fun, fun um, series with Christina and Sarah Scraps using our paper person kit. So this is my first full kit and it'll be my first share. So be sure to come back for that. Enjoy the close-ups. I hope you're doing well today. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.